Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be getting out my spring and summer dresses, so I figured I would do a video to show you the dresses that I will be getting out. Now you may note that I am wearing my first ever wig today from Dreamholic, and I'm super excited about it, so it's the perfect day to get out some nice spring and summery Lolita dresses. Now one thing I did not do is go and like research all the names to these dresses so that I could be sure I'd have them all right for this video. So yeah, <laughs> this first one's from Angelic Pretty and right off the bat I do not remember <laughs> the name of this print. So this is a really nice, sweet lacy basket, that's what it is. This is a really nice hydrangea and ribbon and basket summery dress. And the thing that's super cool about this is it has kind of this tiered design here. So the skirt is very, very full, and I really love the incredible amount of poof that it gives. One thing I will note about this dress, this is a last year, so 2018 Angelic Pretty release. And I'm not super impressed with the quality of the ribbons on this dress. So when I got this dress, these ribbons were already kind of like on the bottom, like fraying a little bit. And even this one here in the center, this is made out of chiffon and it's not a very thick and high quality chiffon. So just something to note, even though the fabric of this dress is really nice, I really like it. I'm not fully sold on the level of quality of this dress, but I love the print so much and I love the colors so much that I still really like it, but that's just something I wanted to note. So here we have a similar color scheme dress, also from Angelic Pretty. This is from a year earlier, so this is from their 2017 collection. And I think this one's called Romantic Little Garden, something like that. and. This one has lots of different little flowers. It also has some birds and again, ribbons. And it also has this tiered look with a really full skirt. Now, this is the OP. The other one I just showed was a JSK. And this has a lot of shirring in the back. So this is a super comfortable OP. It has the shoulder elastic that I like. So I, I do try to shy away from OPs unless they have the shoulder elastic because uh, my bodice is a little longer than the typical Asian girl and it has some cute lace there. But my favorite lace is actually this lace here where the tear is. It has a really cute heart and then some little upside down hearts there as well. And these are actually, I think, supposed to be a pair of birds. So I just think that's so cute and the skirt is lined so this isn't like totally see-through to like your legs or whatever. It's a really cute piece for summer. Now we're getting into one of my favorite prints of all time and this is Baby's uh, Cheerful Lemon JSK. This came in two cuts. Uh, there's another JSK that's more of like a high-waisted cut. This is the Saks colorway and this has lemons and cherries. The lemons are in heart shapes and there's the most adorable cherry lace at the bottom and some nice high quality torch on lace down at the bottom as well. And I really like the ladder lace here on the bodice and that goes with the cherry lace and that is my favorite detail of this JSK. I love the print too but that detail really brings it home. And on the back there's sharing, and one thing to note about Baby, this is not like hardcore corset lacing. Like this is literally just like delicate lace that you can pull in. So if you're a little bit like below the recommended measurements, it's actually kind of hard to pull it shut. Now of course I'm not, so I don't have to worry about it, but that's just one strange thing about Baby's dresses that I've always noted. Uh, this ribbon here, it's a lot sturdier than the angelic pretty ones, to be honest. So I love this release so much that last year at Teco they brought the release to the con and that was when I purchased my very first Salopette. 
which is this right here. This comes with a blue ribbon attached here, but it's removed. I removed a lot of the detachable bits and put them in a plastic bag so that I wouldn't get any rust stains when I got them out now. And the salopet has this really nice rose lace going there across the top. And I shied away from salopets for many years because of the length. But when I saw this in person in Teco, I saw just how much strap area there is here. So it's kind of hard to see here, but there are multiple buttonholes to adjust these straps. And there at the very bottom, I have that attached. And it looked to me at the con that it would be just right at that length. And it is, so I've been looking forward to wearing this all winter. And it has pockets, nice, big, functional pockets. So it's pretty much the perfect casual dress for any occasion. <laughs> This was my favorite baby print from the year before, from 2017. This is Strawberry Heart Drops. I just love the bold blue color of this dress. And one of my favorite things about this print is that it has blueberries in addition to the strawberries. Now this is supposed to be a low waisted cut. Unfortunately, when I wear this, it's actually a little bit above my natural waist. So I didn't really get to enjoy the way that this cut is supposed to fit and unfortunately the straps on the back are attached instead of um, adjustable. So that is one disappointment for me about this dress but I still really like it because of the colors and the print and the nice thick baby fabric. This part here is detachable and this large bow here is also detachable. I don't know why I didn't choose to detach that one but I didn't. And. Here you can actually see, just as an interesting detail, this dress, I don't know if it's just because of how it fits or whatever, but I do have to pull this lacing in a little bit and you can see here that it's like kind of coming apart there because the lace is so delicate. So although I love baby's construction, they uh, could put a little more work into their corset lacing, I think. This is Metamorphosis Juicy Basket. And this was one of my very first dream dresses. I really like how Meta has this lace up bodice on a lot of their dresses. I think it looks really cool because the color of it oftentimes on their releases contrasts with the main color of the print, but usually ties into other some other color on the print. So you can see that they're is a darker blue color there and we have lemons we have cherries we have daisies a basket all the good summery stuff I love that makes summer so enjoyable and fun and this like many meta releases really generous sharing in both the front and back I imagine that if you were intending to use the front sharing you may want to remove this ribbon because it kind of looks a little strange if you're stretching out the front but with the sharing in the back you may not even need to do so next we have a dress from a Taobao brand in Fanta and I, th I think this dress was called I have no idea what it's called so <laughs> never mind that this had uh, several detachable bows there was a nice big one that you can put you know there or there and then the other smaller plain solid blue bow and what I love about this dress is that there are several colors shades of pink and red that you can cord with the sacks with this dress so if you have kind of like a louder pink color and I always use that word to describe like the really bright in your face pinks it goes really well with this dress and in fact, the wig I'm wearing today, I think, kind of goes with this dress. So that's a nice, exciting thing. It doesn't have as many high quality details as a brand piece. So the lacing, it's actually a little better than babies, but no adjustable straps, even though they're such basic straps. <coughs> Excuse me. And the lace on the front, better than body line lace, but definitely not brand lace. But I still really like that dress. Alright, this is kind of like a casual, hey, I don't care. This is my cheap, like, go ahead and get a dirty dress. This is a body line 
Cherry JSK, really plain cut, and the straps are super elastic. We're talking like serious stretch here, so. One thing to take note of if I ever want to hang it on a hanger, which I probably don't. So really basic print, and one of my favorite details is again the ladder lace, I always fall for that. And on the bottom there's like this like heart lace stuff, not super high quality. And of course, just not a lot of details overall, which for body line may be a good thing because uh, they can miss the mark once in a while on the details. This is a dress from a brand called Philia, Hanako Philia actually. I believe they're a Taiwanese brand. And this also came with a detachable bow. This is a strawberry JSK and Figlia there. You can see their, their brand logo. And I got this originally to have a really nice basic mint colored JSK with strawberries on it. And of course there are some brand options that come in those colorways, but this dress was much less expensive. Really nice and casual. It has adjustable straps built right into it with several buttonholes. And in fact, they are so long that there's actually an extra buttonhole that I'm not using. So only Hanoli and Hanako Figlia can claim that feat. And here we have, this is like super compact and that's because it's only a skirt. This is an Emily Temple cute skirt that I like to wear to work. It's fun to wear with white and cream and blue and red. Uh, I say white because there are white uh, patterns of like whipped cream on it. And I don't like whipped cream, but that's okay because I love strawberries and I really like this blue part at the bottom. The blue, it looks like giant rickrack lace <laughs> or trim. And of course it's not, it's part of the print, but it just kind of gives that impression to me. Here we have another skirt. This one's from Metamorphose. I don't remember the name of the print, but again, more berries, more fruits. So you can tell what I like. This also has blueberries, it has cherries, and it even has some raspberries on it right there. And they actually look, they look to me like not yet ripened black raspberries, which are what we have growing in our yard. So I really enjoy that detail. It also has daisies. Daisies seem to be a popular flower to pair with beautiful fruits and berries. So really nice, easy to wear skirt. This is probably my favorite casual piece that I own. This is a JSK from Emily Temple Cute with nice big strawberries on the bottom. This is a really light, Although high quality fabric, there is no lining on this dress. So very basic, bare bones is what you get. Full back shirring. My only complaint about this dress is that the straps are really, really short. I added all of this. So all of that is my strap extender there. But polka dots, strawberries, and green. What is there not to love? Seriously. And last, I have another skirt from Metamorphose. This is a really unique shade of mint. I don't know if it shows that it's vastly different than the ones I've already pulled out, but this is a really cool shade of mint. And this is from their uh, Citron Soda release. Although this is the version of the print that does not have the full border print on the bottom. And this has a really cute heart belt. That's something that uh, Meta used to always, not always, but They've included them several times, these really cute heart belts, and it has pockets, so that's pretty awesome. And it also has a built-in petticoat. Now, I'm not sure of the release here on this, but it is kind of a recent piece to have a full built-in tool petty. You don't see that a whole lot anymore. So it looks okay on its own. So it's a pretty good casual piece when you kind of want some poof but maybe not a whole lot. Whoops, oh well. So this is a strawberry dress from Diamond Honey. This is another kind of like, hey, this is a super cheap, you know, dress. It's okay to get it dirty, whatever. Lots of uh, 
stretchy elastic in the back, but no adjustable straps. This did come with some detachable bows that are not on here. They're really low quality, to be honest. But the print itself, it's really cute. It has strawberries and it has cherries. So I'm not sure the name of this print, but it was something like strawberry cherry, you know, something to that effect. And there is also cutlery on this dress. I'm not sure that I ever really took note of that before, to be honest, but right there. So a couple different themes that you could tie into with this dress. Pretty nice starter piece. It was one of my first dresses. This is a long length, I guess medium length really, dress from Metamorphose. So if I stand back here, you can see just how long this is. It goes down past my knees. This is their uh, lemonade print. I don't remember the name. It may have been Pink Lemonade. But you can see that there are just a lot of details there with the lemonade and the actual lemons themselves. Kind of uh, reminiscent of Lady Slots My Coffee Time. <laughs> and um, this, this JSK came before that one, but this had a ton of detachable pieces. And these ones I just left on, these three bows right here. But I think there were actually a couple others. These straps here are detachable. These go to make a crisscross in the front if you want to wear it with certain kind of blouse or maybe no blouse. And tons of sharing in the back. Uh, fairly plus size friendly. It may be considered a plus size friendly dress. And adjustable straps with tons of extra space. And this is a really heavy fabric. So it's a summery print but this dress is really, really warm. So around here we do tend to get summer days that can get down even below like 60. So it is nice to have a heavier dress for those days. This is another colorway of baby strawberry heart drops, but in the salopette. So after I got my first salopette at Teco, I actually started looking for some others. This salopette has the exact same cut as the other one that I have for Cheerful Lemon, so I knew it would fit. It has, you know, the nice big pockets, straps with a whopping four buttonholes. The only difference is that the bow on this one is not detachable. It is sewn on and it's actually coming off, like it's almost completely off, because I, I did buy this second hand. But just another really nice, amazing salopette. This is another super cheap dress. This is from V Castle. This is probably one of the least expensive dresses I own. It was like less than $20 new, like list price. And just a really basic bare bones type thing. We have some strawberries and for some reason one of the leaves is blue on these strawberries, which I actually like that detail because there are blue ribbons there too. So. Gives you a couple color options for cohorting with this dress. And it's just a really simple dress to cohort. This is like dream dress material right here. <clears throat> this is probably one of my most valuable dresses. This is freshly picked strawberries from Angelic Pretty. And it has tons of straps. Like there are seriously so many details on this dress. This is one of the most high quality dresses I own. And here on the bodice, oh my goodness, okay. There's some ladder lace here and then a little bow tie. And then the straps also have ties. Now, unfortunately these do not make the straps adjustable. I was hoping they, they would when I bought it, but they're just for decoration. And then there are also those cross strap ties. And these have a beautiful flower lace detail on them. The back is polka dots. And this dress is fully shirt, both in the front and the back. So lots of stretch there. And the lace is just the most delicate and pretty eyelet lace. It's so lovely. And here it comes with a belt. This is a super long belt. So you're actually supposed to tie it around like twice kind of or make some kind of design with it. I'm not even sure, but 
it has here on the ends, even the belt has a little daisy on the end of it. So they spared no detail when they made this dress. It has a tiered skirt, one of my favorite cuts for a skirt, and then the lace on the bottom. Let's see if I can bring this up here. Come on. <laughs> it is so cute and I can't really get, there we go. It, this is a strawberry eyelet lace, super pretty. And this, um, this has a hard tool petticoat inside of it as well. And so this dress, it's actually super stained. I'm not gonna like try to find them and show you, but I paid close to retail for this dress, even though it has stains, it does not come up very often. And they're just, they just don't make them like this anymore, to be honest, that, that's really the best way to put it. Like, they just don't. So this is Innocent World Strawberry Tart. This cut and colorway I got in a Lucky Pack. I have another one in there that I will show you in a minute. This is a sack dress, not something I ever thought I would wear, but it has really nice elastic there on the shoulders. The measurements on this are pretty large because, I mean, it gets large. But this actually has on the back like a rip and tie belt thing. So when you wear it, you know, assuming that you use the belt, the shape it makes is actually not like a sack dress because the belt, it goes, you know, under your bust and you pull that in and it makes more of like a normal dress shape. So this is super simple, very simple cut, but it's really comfortable and really easy to wear. And the strawberry tarts look kind of like photographs, kind of a unique print. Fun fact about this dress, I wore this on a hike last summer. I think it was for Memorial Day, maybe Labor Day, I don't remember which, but I can wholeheartedly recommend wearing Innocent World Strawberry Tart on a hike. <laughs> With sneakers, of course. And this is the colorway that I actually bought when it was on sale, before I ever got the Lucky Pack. And the straps on the back are supposed to crisscross, so that's how I, how I have them configured there. But the bodice on this has a really gorgeous lace front. This is a common detail for Innocent World. They do these kind of like lace front bodices a lot. And to get that to sit in the right place, I did move the button down on this strap, which is another very common Innocent World feature. It's a super nice length dress. It goes down a little bit past my knees and the print is actually on the top of this dress as well as the bottom. And the back, instead of having like a waist ties, it has a pin on bow, which is kind of lopsided most of the time, but whatever, it was cheap. <laughs> this is Baby's Heart Marguerite. And the main reason I got this dress was for the colors. This has kind of like a transparent lace bodice here and the bows on this are not detachable. It has a nice lace front. The straps are adjustable, which is a nice feature, of course. This material, this is kind of like the baby standard material. The Strawberry Heart Drops dress that I showed earlier is also made of this same material. And the print on this is just beautiful daisies and some pansies, nice ribbon, nice gingham, like a really cool lavender. So the Innocent World one I just showed is a warmer color of purple. So really nice colors here. Just a nice, very springy type dress. And the last one I have to show, so it's probably like one of the early summer dresses that I got. I wore this to my second ever Lolita meet. This is from Metamorphose. The name is escaping me right now. Something to do with candy, I think. Uh, candy bar or ice candy in the Japanese version. This has frozen treats on it, which is pretty cool. It has also strawberries and 
possibly kiwis and lemons or maybe oranges. It's hard to tell exactly, but lots of frozen stuff. It has a little swan, one of those frozen treats is a swan, which Metamorphos is famous for. And this had a bunch of detachable bows and stuff and they've all been removed. It also has a belt and I removed the belt because I actually like to wear it with other things. It has a a cool colored lavender bow belt on this dress to match. And at the bottom is a ruffle. Not a lot of lace here. I mean, they really skimped out on the lace. But this dress, the, the cut of this was called circular pinafore, I think. And this is actually a full circle skirt. So one time I actually tried to fill this out. I layered three petticoats and I had this absolutely ginormous poof on this thing. It's kind of ridiculous. But you can get any level of poof you ever dreamed of with this thing. And there aren't a ton of Lolita dresses with a full circle skirt. So that's kind of a neat feature. And this is really, really light, thin fabric. It was perfect for the summer meet I went to where it was absolutely roasting. So that concludes my spring and summer dresses. Now I have a lot more dresses to get out than I do to put away for fall and winter. But these containers I have, one of them is going to be filled with my heavy winter coats. So, you know, two containers worth of dresses. And for the winter stuff, it'll be more like one container, but then a container of coats and probably earmuffs and gloves and all that winter stuff that I'm really glad to be putting away. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my spring and summer wardrobe. And as you can tell, I really like berries. I really like flowers. Those things just totally rock my world, and I cannot wait to start wearing them. Thanks.